Okay. I am solving my problem by substitution. And my problem is Now for substitution, what you do is you solve for one variable in one of these equations and you plug it into the other equation. So let's take 2x plus y equals 12. And let's try to get what y equals. So you subtract 2x because it's a positive to put it on the other side of the equation. Leaving you with y equals 12 minus 2x. Now you're going to plug this in for y into the second equation. minus y minus 2 and then your y of 12 minus 2x. Which equals 12. Now you do distributive property minus 24 plus 4x plus 12. So then we add like terms. Add 24. And you get 9 x equals 36 now you divide 9 on both sides to cancel out your multiplication between the 9 and the x x equals 4 now to figure out our y, all you do is plug in your x into one of the equations. So let's plug in 4 into the first equation. Gonna subtract your eight. And your y equals four. So we have y equals four and x equals four. And I like to check my problem. And to check it, you can easily plug in your four and your four, both your fours for x and y in any of the equations to see if both of them give you 12. So two times four, which is eight, plus your y, which is 4, equals 12. Correct. Second equation. 5 times 4, 20, minus 2 times 4, um, 8, <laughs> equals 12. Check. So, our answer is the order pair of 4 and 4, and this is a consistent system because we have our point and it is an independent equation. And that's your answer.